So here we go, round two. Now, you'll probably notice Josh didn't even make it into this one. Uh, we've got so many people with squads and, and people online at one particular moment that as soon as we start saying court battle, everyone goes, what court battle, where, where? And everybody rushes them. So <laughs> Josh didn't even make it into this one. But uh, Team Pyrex did, so uh, let's just go for it. Now, um, usual tactic here. This is a map with a bit of range in it. So uh, I tend to favor this tactic of getting a dropship in. Um, oh, that's close. Wow, that's amazing. I didn't crash that uh, and getting it over to uh, the point so a couple of my guys have gone and got a and the rest of them are being dropped at C now in hindsight this was a bit dumb but I'll explain that towards the end um, and he can go so basically the guys are now down uh, you know hot dropped into the zone uh, and that worked quite well so here we go now the first encounter we had was um, you know by LAV pretty common this I know a lot of people when they do assault suits and that they'll rush um, using LAVs to get close because we had a lot of the squad here I think we managed to blunt this initial attack um, but I think this is certainly something uh, people are doing now you'll notice my forge gunning skills here this is um, I think an assault forge gun is a particularly good forge gun it's only level two uh, and I'd highly recommend it actually I think if you like forge gunning it's a bit of a vocation to be honest if you want to do uh, accurate controlled sniping with the forge gun you, you need to kind of well you got to practice with it. Uh, and I'm getting into it I, I really I think this character that I use for court battles isn't my main and that gives me a problem because this is a very very low skill point character so pretty much the only thing he's got is laser you know and um, forge gun <laughs> but as you can see look at that snipe across the map pulling uh, killing dudes it's a pretty effective uh, gun I must admit so here we go now this is where i think it starts to go quite wrong we lose a so i, I pile into the dropship and i tell my squad to get in because we're going to go and basically hot drop zone own it um but and it takes a while to get everybody in but this this is why dropships need to be fixed or or buffed a little bit or they need to do something with dropships because um, this is how dropships should be used. They have this real ability to, you know, pick up people, move them, drop them, and, and get them into a combat point. Uh, and sadly, I think certainly the, the dropships at the moment don't really facilitate that. I mean, this is a standard one. This is a militia one, in fact, because, you know, we, we just use it to get into the, the control zone quickly. But the reality is, is that I think, you know, you can tank them. You can certainly make them a lot more effective than I'm showing perhaps this one. But... I just thought, you know, they're, they're still obviously not fit for purpose. You don't really see a lot of people still using them. So I, I don't know, I think there's there's something still not quite right with them. Um, however, I think, you know, I quite enjoy flying them. I've always enjoyed flying them. And I think hopefully they become, you know, a bit more used when maybe certainly some of the fits become a bit easier to use, maybe with certain other additions, such as things like the Scout LAV uh, may drive people in another direction in terms of dropships. And I think, you know, we'll we'll certainly see how this develops. But yeah, when we're, we're kind of getting a back. Um, they're currently kind of bottled in at B, but again, this didn't really quite work. The, my usual tactic that usually doesn't fail me um, failed me <laughs> here because uh, we, we, we basically just sat at, at C for too long. We didn't maybe necessarily send the whole squad over to A to protect it. Plus, we just lost our dropship as well, which kind of sucks. Uh, so they captured A, and um, yeah, we were then kind of trying to do sneak attacks on B. Nothing really was working. They had a very good defense. They had one squad defending C, one squad defending A, and they also had a tank in now. We didn't have a tank, so it was starting to become um, a bit of a, a no-brainer. Now, I called in a Soma just with the, the drive to maybe try and push on A, but again, I think just the coordination was lacking from my side getting guys to kind of you know follow the commands and such is generally not very hard but it's more a case of you need to you can't just say right everyone attack a you need to make sure that they're in a point to be able and ready to attack a so while i'm sat here trying to soften up a and, and divert their attention you can see the green crosses or the green arrows behind moving up to try and take a but sadly again this is this is where a good defense came in because they saw us and they killed the the other three dudes who were trying to meet up then we had a tank behind us as well and <laughs> it just all kind of went uh, wrong and the tank died sadly and there we go so you know this is unfortunately part of the the process so back to the forge gun um i think at this point we're kind of accepting that we're probably not going to win this one 
Um, but really what we're trying to do, in fact, was the most team was just trying to kill the tank or, you know, just try and get some kills in generally. Um, did a few kamikaze, so I usually do quite enjoy stuff like this. Um, I'm usually a bit better at it than I am certainly in this video, but again, I'm using a really shit fit, and I mean shit fit. This is, uh, I think, a level one. I mean, it's a militia drop suit with a, you know, a heavy machine gun. That's it. No real kind of decent mods on it, which is a shame, really. Um, now, this is where we get finally a shot at the tank. And unfortunately, I was probably only one shot away from killing it. Um, but there we go. Foolishly, I decided to throw AVs, and I don't know why. Um, and if I would just carried on firing, I may have killed him. Um, also, just from this point as well, I had to reload. I then got assailed from each side. So, you know, annoying. Um, in hindsight, it's good to watch. Even the tank comes to, you know, to try and get me. So had I had a full clip and, and you know, support, I probably could have killed it. But hey-ho, shoulda, woulda, coulda. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, one all. Uh, and that was a particularly good uh, victory from the other team. They did really well. And again, it's testament, I think, really showing how people are getting quite good at defending, attacking, etc. So the next one is the decider. See you next time.